let us know down below. Down below, let us know. Let us know down below. Down below, let us know. Let us know down below. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex's idiots. I'm Corey. That's what she said. And he follows on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's Bye. so juicy. I could have joined in, but it was more fun watching. Today, we're reacting to a little video. It's called, Are Indians Really Good at Math? I think it was sick. I'm hoping this is not like a stereotype video, but I think it was done, it was presented to us by the stupid family. So, All right. obviously they're Indian, so they'll know it's it's just, Well, and there does fall a stereotype because of how many go into engineering. Yeah. And you gotta be good at math to go into engineering. Uh, from an American, uh, we, don't, we don't have math here. Math actually gives me anxiety. Were you good at math in, in school? The only class I ever failed was algebra. Really? Yeah. I Which was, is, here's what's weird. I was good at math until I, anything past algebra one. Correct. I'm anything really below. good. I was able- Like addition and subtraction? Bitch, I'm a boss. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, I was a little concerned because when I worked for World Financial Group, in case you didn't know this, I worked with financial advisement. And I got my series six and, and 63 in my life license, but my six and 63, which are your licenses to allow you to work with uh, variable interest on different things, particularly mutual funds, uh, you have to take those exams. And there's some serious math involved in that. Yeah. And I got it. I was a fully licensed financial advisor. And the, I, algebra is the only class that ever failed. And I am not joking, word problems, like an algebraic word problem or seeing some kind of an expanded mathematical equation. But particularly the word problems give me anxiety because I remember being in class and thinking, I'm not gonna get to the next question. We have 30 <laughs> minutes left and I've got like six questions. I'll be here for 30 minutes because I'm stuck. I, I, math is not my forte. Cause Rick's an idiot. Yep. All right, so here we go. I'm assuming the answer is most yes. <laughs> hey guys, it's Marie from Asian Boss. Asian Boss. What is nine cute? Try to nine figure this out in your head without using the culture and then, of the many stereotypes no that people have of Indians. Two. We hit the street <laughs> and to find out whether or not all the many Indians are good at math. So let's start. <laughs> so a BBC report stated that an Indian bride walked out of the wedding after the groom failed to solve 15 plus 6. What? How do you feel about this? Probably should have, he's an idiot. Good thing she did it. It's <laughs> actually <Yes. laughs> Perfect, that's like basic knowledge. Anyone should get to know how to add 15 and 6? clearly 72. Yeah, get a better room, please. <laughs> Shameful, I mean, <laughs> if I can't do it, I'm, I'll be... I'll be okay if someone walks out of me as well. Like, it's such a stupid thing not to... I mean, if you can't solve 15 plus 6, then you're stupid. Then nobody deserves you. <laughs> Marriage is not something, you know, two people connect, it's not because of their intelligence. The heart should be connected, I feel. If this was an incident in the rural, rural India, yeah. specifically in the areas like Haryana and that sort okay. of state, so yeah, ha being good at mathematics and sciences is a matter of pride over there. Like relatives will come to your house, instead of asking, hey, how you're doing in life, <laughs> how comfortable are you, like, what do you want? They will ask you mathematical tables and stuff like that just to prove themselves, yeah. make you feel small or like check you out. Globally, Indians are known for being good at math. Do you think this is true? I don't think that's true, but for some specific cases, it could be true. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> yeah, I guess in a way. It, it is a little bit Compared true. to America. <laughs> different than the way I guess other countries do it. It doesn't stand for everyone, you see. We have a huge diversity in terms of that. Backventures, am I right? Maths. That's a wrong conception if you have that. That's because I was we a have backbencher. a lot of uh, maths from childhood. We don't depend on calculators. We don't depend on computers so much. That always bothered so definitely me. definitely they are better like, at maths. Why don't use a calculator? Of 1 to 10, how good would you say you are in math? Negative 3. Seven, 7 and a half. 7. How much do you usually score? Above 90. Actually, I'm really bad. I won't say anything, you can say two or three. I'm going to ask you a couple of math questions, okay? Try your best to answer them, okay. right? 
What is 87, 87 plus 87? 14 plus 14, 100, 172, 172. 174. Damn it! What is 87 plus 87? 174? 12 into 14. 968, 48. Wow, that was quick. No? No, okay. I can't do it that fast. That's the square of 18. 3, 6, 4, 24. 8, Holy what is the wow. square of 18? 80, uh, 324. Uh, Woo! It's nine. I'm definitely not that fast. 326? I'd have, I could write it out. Yeah, there, 324. What is the square of 18? 324? That's true. Cube of 9? 9, 81, 81, 9, 81 is 2, 7, carry 8, 3. 729. You were at 200. What is the cube of 9? 729. Holy shoot! Yeah. What is the root of 256? 16. Yes. Ah! <laughs> what is the square of 12? 144. My American brain is hurting. He says that I'm not good at math. What is the cube of 9? Oh, do y'all have to do it like without paper? That's true. Like Root of in 256? India? It wouldn't surprise me. Uh huh. Uh, 7, 7, 16? Because I can do it on what paper. Is the cube of 9? 729. That's right. What is the root of 256? 100 out of 100 Americans will all get it wrong. 256. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nobody here is getting that. 16? Not without a paper. No. Uh -huh. Like, I could do okay. these on paper. What is the root of 6? I don't know. Was Gandalf looking for, for that for his uh, pipe? They were okay. I mean, they were not too hard. These kind of math problems are actually really easy for Asians, I think. And this seems to have a unique way of calculating big numbers in their head and uh, with their fingers. Could you show me how to do it? So you have like four divisions in each of your fingers, yeah. right? Okay. Four in each. So you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it goes till twenty. Five into four, twenty. So that way you keep counting. If you have to add something, suppose eight and four, mm -hmm. this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you have to add four more. So one, two, three, four. That gives you a twelve. How did you do the first one? Eighty-seven plus eighty-seven. How did you do that? What? Eighty plus eighty. That's one sixty, and then oh, that's seven plus seven, forty. No, those so are there you go. Just add both of them up, yeah. So there is more than one way to uh, solve a question, a particular question. And those ways are not just uh, told by our teachers. Yeah. We, we uh, ourselves discover some ways to solve a particular question. Do students use calculators in school in India? No. No, no calculators. So uh, I know that for a fact in... Uh, Universally, I'm pretty sure most of the countries they allow Western education allows mm -hmm. calculators. But in India, like even right now in college and even for the entrance, that's exam, why we're stuff, dumb. You have no access <laughs> to calculators. It's derivatives, integration, nothing. So yeah. Oh. Do you think that the Indian society has high standards yes. for the general public on math? Yeah. Yeah. I think Indians are expected to know quite a, uh, like mental maths and stuff pretty well. Even if you're in a corporate, if you're working in an office mm -hmm. or something, like there are some things that people expect you to know without taking the to calculate without using a calculator, yeah. basically. Uh, it does because uh, see, this is the land where zero was discovered. Okay, so it is intrinsically in our brains that we are good at maths and plus accounting concepts. Everything zero. was developed in India, so it's a basic understanding with all Indians having their mind that well. we should be good in maths. When you're going Stranger to the government schools, you will have <laughs> below average English teachers, below average social science teachers, but you'll have all right mathematics teachers. Mm -hmm. So naturally, your expectations for mathematics grows from there only. If you consider Indian parents, which is the Desi parents, then yes, they do actually. I mean, I scored 80 to 100 on math in math, mm -hmm. which I think is pretty good. Mm -hmm. But my parents were not happy at all. <laughs> overseas who have these stereotypes about India? Not all of us are good at math, but quite a few are. So that's it. I mean, there are quite a few things you all are good at too. The only thing I'd say is the fact that they do not allow children to rely on calculators is like the biggest thing. Breaking our force! That really does help in the future <laughs> if you don't need to, you, you don't have the urge to take a calculator out and you're able to do stuff on your own. To be very honest, I myself want to know and research about it that why is this? That <laughs> why is this stereotypical image? That we Indians are only uh, good, at, uh, good at maths and why not the outsiders? Okay. Don't have the stereotype, are not, are, stereotype are very good. in their minds that Indi our only Indians are good at maths. It depends only on the person. There is actually the social pressure due to which uh, the perception is that majority of the Indians are good at mathematics. 
actually um, the natural capability is i believe the same all over the world it's the socio cultural phenomenon over here yes. which promotes mathematics in yes. india and you see the result that was well put did this video change your perspective of indian math skills no let us know in the comments Kind of for more authentic insight into the latest news and cultural trends from all over Asia, it was cool to see their Asia, skills. Sure yes, yeah, there's there's absolutely a huge difference culturally. Oh yeah, 100%. huge difference. I, I don't know about you, but like, if I got a B in any class, my parents were like, "Good job." If I got a C, it was, "Okay, you really need to do better than that because now you're starting to get into the board." And if you got an A, it was like, "Woohoo!" Well, it wasn't expected for me to get A's in everything. Once again, I'm a backbencher. Uh, <laughs> he is. Um, so my, my, the expectations my parents had for my school was significant. <laughs> just graduate, Corbin. Yes. Yes, <laughs> just graduate. Because I had a terrible relationship with school. Which is really here, GPA matters depending upon what you're going to do with your career. Yeah. But all that really matters to Americans is get your diploma. Yeah. What your GPA was is like a cherry on the cake yes. for most most Americans. I don't know what my GPA was, but it wasn't good. <laughs> my wife's was like a 4.3, 4.5. Yeah, or my something. kids were all 4. Point something. Yeah. My GPA was right around a B. Yeah, it was like a um, two two point nine three. I think my my relationship with my parents and my school it was did you pass basically? Correct. Did you, did you pass? Uh, like even if it's C, barely, whatever. Correct. I think my brother because. They were, they cared more than I did. It wasn't that, I'm actually a really smart guy. It's just, I didn't give two flying shits yep. about, <laughs> like if I actually focused, if my teachers actually often said this, it's like if, and they would tell my parents this, they was like, if he actually focused, he teaches the class oftentimes but, because he can understand it. But that, and that was, I'd have to show up. That was my, <laughs> that was one of the best things among many about Harvest where yeah. we went to school was that all of the teachers at Harvest weren't legalistic in regard to grading their students. They recognized the learning capability of their kids. It was a lot like Montessori mm -hmm. in that regard. Yeah. In recognizing just because this person didn't get a particular score, that's a reflection actually on us as the teachers as to why we're not reaching that student because everybody learns differently. And it's hard in a classroom setting yeah. to have. I had you and Stephanie in the same class. You guys are completely different kinds of students. You are <laughs> opposites, ends of the spectrum. Yeah. And there was something there that you know said that parents she's, will... She's a perfect student. That, yeah, she really was. Front row, never late, always there. Like, everything turned in on time. It's actually funny because at the, at the school we went to, we, you had to wear a uniform. And if you got a certain grade point average, which actually I think you got, currently is stupid, uh, you yeah. get like so many days off. So she right. had every day except for chapel day, which is a, you, it's like a church day at school. She didn't have to wear a uniform. Right. And I think, like, she was, like, the only student in there. <laughs> That's true. She, she's smart. Yeah, very smart. I never, I never got to a <laughs> <laughs> Nope. And, they, you know, they did say that the, the early on in the video, they said somebody mentioned that in certain areas when you go, they're not going to ask you, how are you, what are you doing? They're going to ask you a math question yeah. and see how, much, how good you are at math, yeah. which is a friendly reminder. For those of you not good at math and people are questioning you and you don't do well, you just let them know. Just because you're educated doesn't mean you're intelligent. That's true. Mic drop. <laughs> but um, I, I just know that I'm a backbencher. That's all I know. And I just know I, I know suck from at the memes and on, on Twitter, I see the memes about backbenchers, which is the kids who sit right, back. in the back. Right. Which was me. Yep. So I can make out with all the chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Da 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 da